the fuck are these? I'm not asking you. You know, you see the title, you see they're the AKGK 371s. You know what they are. I know what I purchased. I'm asking AKG, what the fuck are these? Because I've had some, like, alternating opinions with myself on this channel in the past. Where it's a headphone and it's like, all right, I like it, but certainly not for this genre or this genre. But, but these... If you're watching My Hero Academia, you know that character. Do you love her or do you hate her? Is she going to stab you and suck your blood or is she the cutest thing ever? Um, and these headphones... With all their cool folding and immense comfort... I don't understand what I'm hearing. So... K371 okay, over ear closed back foldable studio headphone studio studio susu a studio designed for professional use kind of like those but I don't think so all right here, here's the thing here's the thing are you ready for the thing you're ready for the thing see this is gonna give you the rundown see us got the heads up from other people that hey hey these are the next big thing you should get on board and assess. So I ordered them and they show up and the pads are all crinkly in the box and I'm like, fuck, I hope that'll straighten out. It's been like two weeks and they're kind of straightening out, but they're still a little messy. Uh, but you put them on your head and they're one of the most comfortable headphones I've ever worn. And that's one of the problems because you give Zeos a comfortable headphone, he's looking for reasons to fall in love with it automatically. Then you listen to them, and the very first time I put something on, I was like, whoa, bargain of the century at their current price. Then the next song comes on, I'm like, whoa, the fuck just happened to my internal ear? And then the next song is like, oh, good. And the next song is, oh, what? No, yes. No, yes, yes, up, down, fuck, fuck. And then the other kind of fuck, where it's like, oh, fuck. I took these to bed. For those of you who've been following this channel since day one, which is way back, you know if I tell you that I took a headphone into bed with me, there's something special. And these are something special. But it's not like when I got the Fidelio X2s and I was in love with them and oh my god, they changed the way everything sounds. Oh, I want to listen to them all the time. I brought these to bed because even though I'd gotten them two days before, I was still very fucking confused. These are amazing. And confusing probably like a perfect woman you want one that's amazing and confusing so AKG close back detachable wire it's a three pin mini XLR so not balanceable unfortunately single side it comes with three wires this is the little short wire which is what I'm using look how nice and short it is let's take the other ones out so we could yell and scream and point fingers Done with this box? Great. Okay, um, we've got a coiled wire, which is a very nice coil. I actually like approve it, feel it's got a good stretch to it. This piece isn't so long. This piece, however, see this like pig's tail curly cue? Yeah, look at that. Guess where that's never going? Anywhere. I don't know if even stretching this out with a hairdryer would fix it. So that's, that's a bullshit wire. Then we got this one that's huge and soft. It is a nice soft wire, I'll give it that. I haven't undone it yet because I, I didn't think I needed to, but let's just check. Okay, it's a wire, oh, oh God, what did I do? I didn't do it, I didn't do this. All right, it's a wire, it's a wire. It's, it's another wire, they use three and a half millimeter things. It's okay, it's a, it's a bit long, so you're not gonna use that. So you're stuck basically with the really, really short, I mean, that's short. That's like a three footer. And it plugs in. It's got a nice little adapter. You put it on there. I'm currently feeding it with a topping uh, DX7 Pro because, well, because my uh, 789s are both busy because I've been sitting here trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. So I've had the Neumann NDH20s and my Baerdynamic MMX 300 Mark Gen 2s. So from what I've been told, these headphones follow the Harman curve. 
you don't know what the Harmon curve is, you could yell at your phone and ask it what the Harmon curve is, or listen to this terrible explanation. Human beings don't want to hear a flat line. You know when they measure headphones and everyone sees that graph and it's like the bass comes up, and then oh, it's flat down to 25, then it goes all across, it all wiggles, and then goes up at one kilohertz and down at five. The Harmon curve is a very specific curve that is not flat. That's what humans like. Humans like to hear this curve, and I'm not gonna describe where the peaks are or anything, but apparently these measure almost precisely what the Harmon curve is. And at the price of under $150, it's like, Zios, does that mean we found the ultimate headphone? And I would swear on my fucking channel for several songs, these are the most perfect headphones. And then, I would also swear on my channel that on certain other songs, these are unlistenable headphones. Welcome to the AKGK 371s. I am so torn. DMS, he's the one who recommended them. He said, dude, you gotta get on these. They follow the Harmon curve. I didn't even ask if he liked them. I just hit the buy button because that's what the patronage is for. By the way, if you're not a patron, link in the description. Gets you behind the scenes, gets you early access, gets you into the yard sales. Gets you the $10 tier, gets into a private chat with me for behind the scenes content, like me bitching about these the day they arrived. They are well built. Now I've heard other reports that some, some of them are not holding their positioning or they're like, cause it's got a weird system of like, so there's nothing moving outside. It moves on the inside, little poppy pop. And then you can rotate to fold them. You have to pull the wire out to fold it completely. But like that, like, look at that. That's, that's a convenient. If it was a studio headphone, if I thought these could be used for like actual studio work, they get my review, they, like a recommendation all day. <sighs> By the way, this is what fucking Bose should have done to the Bose 700. It's a very similar, like, it's just that this stalk is not on the outside. The, the Bose, you can't fold at all. This would have been a wonderful way for Bose to make their 700s uh, collapse and not be stupid. So I love the build. The build is, is this is rubberized on top. It's got a full silicone underbelly here, which is not the most, this is actually just air in here. There's no padding, but they, they clamp perfectly. When you extend them to the right length, the clamp is like linear. The pads are oval shaped, almost a three knuckle. It's a tight three knuckle, but oval shaped like an ear. They're soft, they're, if, I don't even know if they're memory foam because it's so, it's so soft. Everything's so soft. They feel so nice to wear. You put them on and you're like, oh, I could wear these for fucking hours. And then you play the music and it's like, wow. I don't know if I want to cut my wrists or not. I don't know where I am at this time. I don't even know if I like sandwiches anymore. What's a sandwich? What's in a sandwich? I, I've had a couple headphones in this channel. Uh, most famously, probably the Audio Quest Nighthawks. The Nighthawks were a headphone that sounded different. They never sounded bad. They always just sounded like they were projecting sound into a conch shell and then using a DSP correction on the conch shell so that it sort of made these sounds like happen in weird places and up and down. And oh my God, that low end was so intense. And they definitely were not a, a pair that you'd get if you were a full on audiophile that wants just absolute accuracy. That's not what the Audio Quest Nighthawks were. And then there were things like uh, 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 the, what's it called? The Ultrasones. Remember the Ultrasones back in the day? And I talk about Ultrasone a little bit in the Atom monitor, the $500 ASP5s. I talked about how Ultrasone tuned those. And it was like such a weird fucking thing with like the drivers mostly covered and then it leaks there to the back and either it worked perfectly or didn't work. And I would compare this sound to that, but more accessible. I like this more. What I just did GUI from Glass Animals before I started this review. I've been sitting here fucking half an hour, 45 minutes. Just, just this and this and this and this and this on that and this on the tube. And Glass Animals GUI sounds amazing on these. And everything else I played after that I just want to take them off my head. 
But oh my God, those sounds that sound perfect on it, the imaging, the low end, the low end these produce is some of the best you can get in a headphone under $500. Like th these, these are low end cans. I'm gonna link all of these. No one's, uh, here's the thing. These are the cheapest. I have the $500 set and a $300 set. So these are $134 right now, I think. And if you want to take a chance, absolutely, I would have, if I watch this review, hey, did Zeos tell you to buy those or not? No one should come out of this review saying, no, Zeos said don't buy these. They're so well built, so comfortable. I'd say you have to give them a shot. If what you're listening to aligns perfectly with the way that they're tuned, you're going to be the happiest person on earth. However, if what you're listening to doesn't suit the way this driver is set up, you're going to wonder if Zeos is a fucking just chilling shit out for fun. Because I bought these with my money. AKG didn't pay me any money to, to talk about these. I'm just sitting here looking, hoping to find like a good $100 to $200 clothes back. Because there's a bunch of cheap clothes backs. Uh, MH751s. Uh, the Civica 006s are probably like my go-to. They're like little miniature TH900s. And I was hoping to find something like the Neumanns, but smaller and less than $500. And these had potential based on like, oh, the Harman curve and they're not super wide, but I don't know what's going on with them, bro. I don't know. I want to love these so bad. In fact, here's what I did. Um, so I bought the 371. These are the 371. $134.10. If I go to the K361, it's the exact same shaped headphone. Same pads, same headband, same wire, same everything. $78. I just bought that at the start of this review. Before I started the review, I'm like, all right, you know what? Only three left in stock, boom. Now there's only two left in stock. Because as the one of the most comfortable headphones I've ever worn, and I'm, I'm giving them that fucking honor, and that's an honor, they adjust, they have a floating hinge there. The clamp is not too fucking great. The pads are perfect. At $134, give or take the sound quality, they're worth it. At $78, if those three six ones, and just click the link in the description and you can change it because it's all the same page. If those three six ones, even if they don't sound as good as these do on the greatest tracks, as long as they don't sound as bad, because it gets it gets it gets rough, it gets harsh and shrill. It sounds like S Logic, and I don't want it to sound bad. Let me show you the um what's going on in the driver, and it's a pain in the dick to get off, but I'll do it anyway, because I love you guys. So here's what we're looking at. So we got a driver mounted behind plastic. We've got some big openings around the outside. How many holes is that? Twelve, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve holes. Then we've got a bunch of smaller holes with the very center open and then the rest is covered with this like just paper. That's their tuning. They tune that. Here are the vents from behind the driver. There's no angle involved. It's just flat. And whatever they're doing with this, with this driver in the very small housing, there's not a lot of air behind it. The pad is just, you can see the pad has got like it's crushed a bit. Apparently, this is just the way they come. They'll come squ squished in the bag like this, so they have to. They come out of the box looking like that, and you're like, "Oh fuck!" So you got to give them. You got to give them some days. You got to give them some days of use and sitting free, not smashing to each other to breathe. And you put them on, and it's like, "Wow, I don't believe they sound this good." And then I'll go to sleep. I'll wake up and I'll unpause my music, and I'll go, "Wow." I don't believe I thought those sounded good last night. Was I high? Was I drunk? Was I just stupid? These are schizophrenic headphones. I love them. I hate them. Pretty sure DMS is going to say he loves them and hates them too. He and I, we don't collaborate on a lot of reviews. I don't like to listen to other reviewers. I don't watch other reviewers. I don't read other articles. If I get something like this, it's because somebody somewhere mentioned, hey, did you see those? They do this, everyone likes them. And I'm like, I'll be the judge of that. So I got them and I listened to them and then I talked to the other reviewers and I'm like, hey, what about these? And they're like, oh, I don't know what to think about those. Blah, 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 down. They come with a bag that's waterproof. It's a waterproof. I unboxed this, by the way. The unboxing channel will have the up 
the unboxing at some point. And I took this out of the bag and I'm like, huh. The worst fabric, just like plastic fabric and like a rough felt on the inside. But what was that crinkling? Waterproof bag. I literally stuck my hand in it, shoved it under my faucet. So, I mean, that's that's a thing that they could say. Comes with a waterproof bag. I hope the cheaper ones are mediocre sounding, but consistent. Because for the build and the feel and that low end, these are a fucking yes, like an unadulterated yes. And then when the music is just right, they are so fucking good. And then the music stops being all right. And it's like, oh, I don't listen to these anymore. It's like going on a roller coaster. It's got the highs and the lows, and you know when your stomach like hits you, and then it's like you, you hit to the top of the curve, and you get the butterflies? I've gotten the butterflies from listening to music with this. I just was online, because I haven't had time to game in them. So I searched out, and I found a Squad Realistic War Sounds 14-minute compilation. And this is just, I have to stop this, refresh this. Give me a second, hold on. Because... And if, you, if anybody knows of a gameplay video of like Squad, something really high quality that has not just no commentary, but no voice chat in it, I'd like one of those because I'd like to be able to sit down and listen to a consistent recording of a fucking war zone with gunshots and ricochets and footsteps. And I want to be able to compare headphones. It's something I should have been doing for years, but I just started doing it at this table because of these fucking headphones. I'm like, maybe I can recommend them to gamers. I want to recommend these so bad. I am recommending these. There's a link. You can use it. You can buy them. I'm just giving you the warning. You're going to get very, very comfortable headphones that are not that hard to drive, that are really well built, and you're going to listen to some stuff and it's going to sound amazing. And then you're going to listen to other stuff and it's not going to sound amazing. And you're not going to know why. And you're going to come to me for help. And I don't have the answers for you. I think the Harmon curve is something companies should strive to get near, but never get right. Anyone seen Rick and Morty? You know when Morty was trying to use like a bubble level to level something, and Rick got real pissed off. And he's like, "What the f what the fuck, Morty? You want the bubble? You think a, a bubble full of air is gonna show me?" And then Rick pulls out all the stops and makes a perfectly level surface after like three minutes of crafting it. And then Morty stands on it and literally ha lives in a world of unorganized chaos because nothing is level anymore. These headphones feel like that. These headphones feel like I found perfect level. Every tenth song. And every other song is just garbage. Anyway. This is Squad Realistic War Sound. If you want to look it up, by the way, I'm not going to link it. But even listening to just the sound of like games and gunfire and wind, NMX 300, I'm there. Neumann's, it's a little bit too analytical for gaming. It's not wide enough. The sound of the wind is there, but it's not like bellowing. These are definitely the most controlled headphones I own. Period. And as far as bassy fun, it's these versus Argons, and then I put these on, and I don't even know what I'm listening to, even for fucking gaming. Usually I could tell people you get away with gaming for, you know, you got a shitty headphone, it's a little bit too sharp, the soundstage isn't great. Throw it in a game, you'll be fine. You hear a bullet whiz, it'll go by, you'll be fine. You're not listening to classical recordings of fucking vinyl rips of singers who've been dead for 30 years, and you need the absolute quality of it. Gaming is gaming, but even gaming on these from based on YouTube videos and just listening to the sound effects based on these three closed back headphones, I can't recommend them for gaming. Maybe there's a game where they sound perfect, just like uh, Glass Animals Gooey sounds perfect. But I think, I, I think that perfect level, that perfect Harmon curve should never be achieved because it's not pleasurable. It's like finding a, you ever see when they take a person <clears throat> and they mirror their face so that's perfectly symmetrical. It's fucking weird, bro. It's 
fucking weird. Everyone's face has got to be slightly different or you lose your mind. So, in conclusion, um, these are the AKG K371s. Uh, I fucking love them. Or I don't. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> Tubes don't help, by the way. I'm, I'm glad I got to get... I, I got this out early. I don't want to wait and sit on these for another two, three... I'm going to get those other ones. I ordered them just now. I'm going to get those, and those are going to get their own little review. And maybe then I'll be able to settle on this, because really... The build, the comfort, that was number one. And then the sound for just... Oh, when it's perfect, it's fucking perfect. It's like an Alfa Romeo that starts. And then the rest of the time, it's an Alfa Romeo that doesn't start. But then it starts again. It's like, oh, yes. So I'm done. That wallpaper. Crazy bitch. In the description. Link to these. And the 360s, the cheaper ones, are in that same thing. I'll link to my, my two headphones here. Uh, I mentioned a couple other cheap closebacks. Uh, Civica 006s. Uh, I think the Cooler Masters is still out there. There's one or two other really quality ones. But uh, I just wanted these to be as good as everyone says they are. Or as bad as everyone says they are. I hate being this indecisive asshole for you. Because you come to me asking about it, and if I don't know the answers, then absolutely nobody knows the answers. Should I move that? It's kind of creepy. Although, Pasta wouldn't show off the wig. Wallpaper description, $2 tier, $5 tier, $10 tier. Get on the Patreon. There are $30 tiers and higher. We'll have new benefits coming up because I ask people and I want them there. So check out the Patreon. Check out Hi-Fi Guides. I'll start a post for this. If it hasn't started already, it probably started already. That place is actually has people on it, and they're actually doing things. It's amazing. Hire a good mod team. Hire volunteer mod team, and you get... And get people talking. So I hope that they know what's going on with these because maybe they could educate me. Anyway, I'm Zeos Pantera. This has been my day. There's a sound demo in the description and I'll see you all again. Well, tomorrow will be a sound demo, then a new demo or new review the day after that. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to take some more Advil and see what it does. These things, man, they give me a headache.